So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Now as you can imagine, I get sent tons of videos, tons of clips of ruined farms, this, that and the other, and a lot of the times I do cover them because they're sometimes pretty decent. Well I've been sent to newer ruined farms which earlier players to the game could use and abuse, and I mean the clips I sent, uh, I was sent, and the videos I were sent, uh, fellow content creators were claiming some big, big numbers. Now, I know we all exaggerate a little. Uh, it's the way the algorithm works. The bigger the number, the more views, the more clicks. Uh, but what I've seen and what I've experienced is shocking, people. Shocking. And today we're getting to it all. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leave me a like. It really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Rune Farms for early players. Uh, the videos have been sent, the videos I've seen claiming early players can earn millions per hour using these two Rune Farms. I just want to say to you guys, that is not true. That is not true whatsoever. These are probably two of the worst Rune Farms I have seen in this game. 100%. Now, as you can see, I have on me right now. 7,000. I'm actually just going to kill myself here so I can reset that number. Kill me! There we go. Okay. Now I have a gold scarab bomb which I'm going to take off. Um, I want to see that basic number. I want to see the exact number we get for no buffs to those runes. So let me just take that off. Okay, so we'll take that off. Um, Okay, so this first rune farm, by the way, guys, uh, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's near the start of the game, where a lot of players, are, a lot of content creators are claiming it's right near the start of the game. It's not. You firstly have to kill Radan, as you know, he's located right here. One of the, probably about the third major boss, but once you uh, take him out, you know, you can come to this checkpoint right here, guys, and go down into Nakran. Right there in the Siofa River. So from killing Radan, you come to this grace point. Upon oh, it's, why is it always go to midnight when I'm trying to record? Why does it always go dark when I'm trying to record? Let's go till morning. There we go. There we go. That hasn't made much difference, but hey. Either way, so this one here, this is one of those rune farming spots, the glitches where you throw yourself off the map. And keep swinging that weapon now like I said these normally give you between 40 and 150 K per actually per actual run but um, this one doesn't now follow the path down to here keep coming this way you can see the waterfall over there that's where we're actually trying to get to that's where we're trying to get to you see the waterfall right there guys that's where this glitch starts so that's where you do this glitch so you want to go around this way I'm actually going to put on my lamp here because it's a little dark. It's a little dark, even though that don't make much of a difference. So you can see the waterfalls there. We actually want to drop down one more thingy. And then, guys, from here, you need to double jump. One, delay, jump again, land here. And from here, guys, you go inside the rock. Now, again, I've seen videos claim 300,000 runes per minute. 10 million per hour this that, and the other what you do is guys you run to the edge double jump off and just swing your weapon just swing 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 away don't matter about that you can hit that rocket doesn't matter swing away now when you first do this there's a chance you can take out i believe a pumpkin head nearby which will give you a little bit more in regards to runes but other than that no no and i will say as well i am not in new game plus this is still my first playthrough so you're seeing the legit number and because these videos are titled for new players for beginners these new players these beginners won't be new game plus anyway so it shows you exactly uh what you can do here now what i will say is if you are a new player uh, if you're a beginner if you're relatively near the start of the game and you're looking for a decent rune farm I have made videos in the past showcasing amazing rune farms for beginners uh, you can search my channel or I will if I remember because I've got crappy memory I'll link a video in the video description which showcases them to you 
But this one right here, I'm going to tell you now, just really isn't worth it. Like I said, the first time you do this, you'll probably get about 10k because you killed, you kill a pumpkin head. Because what's actually happening here, guys, is you're falling so far, the, the map above you despawns, and the enemies there, they will fall to their deaths. And you get the runes, simple as that. Uh, but yeah, that's what's happened. And I mean, I fell for about five minutes and I got lit all over. That number you just seen there, which is 4,000 runes. 4,000 runes. 4,000 runes, guys. So you're telling me? <laughs> wow. I mean, like I said, I know these content creators out here like to exaggerate on those numbers a bit. But Jesus, 4,000 runes. 4,000 runes. Stay clear of that, guys. It's just not worth it. The second one takes place up here right here so to, to actually get here guys you need to uh come through this cave so you clear this cave out the lakeside crystal cave and then you come to where you come through here and you'll end up at this grace point right here this is where we're going to go to now i will say to you don't even try and attempt this one because if you do pull it off there's a good chance you'll mess up many many quests in this area uh, and a lot of these videos out here are not, don't say this because around this area guys, there's actually a few NPCs, especially around here as well. And like I said, because you're falling to your, well you're not falling to your death, you're swinging, you're falling, you're despawning the map, all the NPCs, all the, the uh, enemies around here will fall to their death. Meaning if you kill an NPC, that quest is done. Simple as that. So that's the cave you will come through. You'll end up coming through that and you'll end up right here by this wolf i don't want to spoil it for new players but hey uh sleeping wolf by the way actually has something for you and there's a grace point behind it but either way you'll, if you've watched the video you'll notice that the actual arun farm takes place up here and to be honest it's really hard to even do so you ain't going to be doing this every time anyway and from here guys you have to double jump around this corner and land on another rock it's so hard to do so hard to pull off i probably tried it about 20 times can't even do it but either way like i said you're killing npcs in the area if you haven't done their quest already and you only get about 10,000 runes for this as, as well it's really not worth it i need to end up on that rock there it's just impossible to do don't waste your time guys it's not worth it like i said you can ruin quest for yourself and this that, and the other again if you're looking for early game ruin spots I'll link a video in the video description. There's a few there that will earn you millions. We don't need to grind, but you will earn you millions. So these two room farms, you're probably seeing floating about on other content creators' channels. Stay clear of them. A complete waste of time, especially this one. And there we have it, people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps. Add. If you like what you see, want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.